Today we're going to talk about the Acer Concept D7 Pro, a laptop designed by Acer and targeting the creator market, so video makers, graphic designers, artists, but this thing has enough computing firepower in it to be a potential fit for engineers and designers. So we took a look, let's see what we found. The Acer Concept D7 Pro, it comes with an Intel Core i7-9750H CPU that's got six cores, a base clock speed of 2.6 gigahertz. Uh, the graphics card is great, it's the best I've seen in any mobile workstation, an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000, so that's the top of the line in terms of graphics. 32 gigabytes of memory, which is more than enough for most users. Uh, data scientists might grumble a bit, but it's pretty good for, for most use cases. And storage is actually really good, it's got two one terabyte SSDs in here that come pre-configured out of the box as a RAID 0 volume. So that means you get really good read and write speeds. All told, this thing runs uh, at $4,000. So it's not cheap, but it's also not crazy expensive in the mobile workstation market, but you get pretty decent specs at that price. As you can see, the Acer Concept D7 Pro has this uh, interesting design. It's this completely bone white chassis, which uh, makes it stand out in the field of matte black mobile workstations that we typically look at. I'm not personally a huge fan of the aesthetic, but I appreciate Acer doing something different. To complement the uh, bone white chassis, it's got uh, an interesting backlight. The keyboard is backlit with this sort of orange glow, which overall makes the thing look unique. It's got a good selection of ports on here. There's three USB type A ports, one USB type C, an HDMI, a mini display port, a Kensington lock slot, a headphone jack. One thing that's missing is an SD card reader. Uh, that feels like it would have been good, especially for the creator market that this thing targets. One other thing to comment about the exterior of this thing is the weight. It comes in at 4.63 pounds, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's about half a pound heavier than most mobile workstations. So I definitely noticed it every single time I pick it up. It's the first thing I think, wow, this thing's a bit heavy. So if you're planning on taking it around a lot, if it's gonna be in your backpack all day and you're gonna be on your feet all day, you'll probably start to feel it. You know, it's not a big deal if it's on your desk all the time, but it's it's a little heavier than most of the computers we look at. We ran our usual gamut of benchmarks on the Acer Concept D7 Pro. That includes uh, Spec View Perf 13, Spec Workstation, Passmark Performance Test, and we even did uh, PC Mark and 3D Mark. So we did a whole bunch of tests and it performed well in all of them. If you want all the details, you can read the full review, which we'll link to below. Um, but short answer, it did well. It particularly shines in GPU compute, which is no surprise because of the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000 in there. And the other area, which is no surprise, is the disk speed. So in PASMAR performance test, we saw that this thing has really good read and write performance. The best I've seen actually in any review that I've done for any computer. So that's really great, especially if you're working with, I know, large SOLIDWORKS models, for example, that you're constantly gonna be reading and writing to the disk. Um, it's really helpful for that. The battery on this thing is a bit of a weak spot. It's not terrible. Uh, on average, we found we got about three and a half hours of use. If you're really pushing it, that's gonna be about an hour and a half. And if you're really doing everything you can to save the battery, you're looking at about six and a half hours. So it's not terrible, uh, it'll get you there. But again, if you're somebody who plans to be out and about all the time using this thing primarily as a mobile device, you're gonna wanna either carry your charger around with you all the time, or maybe look at something with a little bit better battery. The Concept D7 Pro has a 4K display, which looks great to my eye, and we did a bunch of tests with our colorimeter. We found that it has 100% sRGB coverage, 99% Adobe RGB, and a brightness of about 267 nits. Acer advertises this computer as having 400 nits of brightness, um, so it was a little disappointing to see it so far below. Nonetheless, it gets bright, and if you're not out in direct sunlight, it's plenty bright for just sitting at your desk and doing some work. Uh, the other thing that Acer really wanted to perfect on this thing is the color accuracy. It actually has a sticker on here that says Pantone validated, which is supposed to mean that it has a delta E of less than two. The lower that number, the better. Um, we actually found it was better. We found a delta E on average of about one. So this thing does have good color accuracy. It covers uh, the color spaces most people are gonna care about, which is not necessarily gonna be a benefit for engineers, but for the content creators that this thing is targeted at, that is a good thing, and it doesn't hurt to have. So overall, the display is very good, performs mostly as advertised. Overall, the Acer Concept D7 Pro is a good option for a mobile workstation for engineers, architects, CAD designers. It's got great specs, and uh, at a price of $4,000 for 
these specs, it's got a great price to performance ratio. It performs about as well as any of the mobile workstations we've taken a look at here on engineering.com. And while the price is not the lowest we've seen at this level of performance, it does give you benefits including that 4K display, the extra terabyte of storage space, and uh, other factors like the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000, and the pre-configured RAID 0 array that makes the read and write speeds better than we've seen on any other device. So at $4,000, this thing is a great option. And if you wanna see our full review and see all those benchmark results yourself, uh, we'll leave the link below. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.